Hello, everybody. I'm T. Paul Yusuf at Culture City News, Chief Correspondent, reporting almost live outside the Majestic Theater Complex um, show. The Slater Kinney show have just ended. It was a uh, really, really great, spectacular show live at the uh, beautiful Majestic Theater. Uh, I wish I could go back there, but I just did a uh, brief wrap up. I posted this on, uh, I think, uh, on my uh, uh, Instagram or Facebook page. They didn't have the marquee lit up. They did what work on, but didn't have the words later getting tonight. So unfortunately, it didn't happen. Uh, the show was really good. Uh, mostly, they played selection from their brand new uh, They uh, played a lot of great stuff. Hurry on, ho, the Sarah Hole, a uh, great. But they played a lot of old favorite, Modern Girl, um, Modern Girl, uh, Girl Words and Guitar, uh, uh, one of the greatest uh, modern day modern rock bands of all time. Um, and it seemed the uh, band uh, in the very first time since uh, Janet Weiss, who was the drummer of Slater Kinney for 20 years, eight, uh, seven albums, and including this one, the uh, Terrible Hall. Home. Uh, I, I didn't find no uh, drop off in quality. Uh, the drummer day replaced her. Uh, the name uh, Escaped Me uh, was really good. The backing band was good, and Clint Kehar and from Sky Larkin and to Toko, who incidentally I learned uh, on Sunday when I was just getting ready to hype up the Slayer Kitty show on Instagram. Uh, she was, uh, she is St. Vincent right hand woman. If you ever see her, St. Vincent live, she's always there. And St. Vincent, her, she played a role. Uh, and it was a really great band. Uh, what a fun night. The show lasted almost 90 minutes. It was a long, forking ass show. But, um, it's uh, a really fun to see one of your favorite all-time greatest bands ever. And that was a really, really uh, fun show. And uh, uh, that was... Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, this is my update. I'm going to post it up on my Facebook page and uh, Twitter feed. Uh, sorry, Brad Galley couldn't be there. Brad Galley would love... Oh, yeah. Brad Galley would have loved Slater Kitty. But, um, you know... Okay. All right. Uh, I will see you next time. And I'll post uh, more videos on Instagram and Facebook of what happened in the Detroit uh, city. Don't worry about me. I'm taking over home. Uh, far different from um, uh, th three years ago when they were in Royal Oak. Uh, long story. I'm not going to get into it. So uh, reporting from the Majestic Theater in Midtown Detroit, close to downtown Detroit. I'm Steve Polly Thank you very much, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.